Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to all of you ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to explain and also uh, give you an idea about how to enter the data inside the SPSS when you have uh, a complete databases that you already collect your data or you already have uh, a data set uh, that being collected in the Microsoft Excel for example. So in this case, I got a case and control study that already been collected from my um, from my colleague over here. Uh, he already collected uh, data here inside the Microsoft Excel. If you can see here, uh, we got a few variables in the control and also in the cases. And then I have a blank uh, databases um, inside the SPSS. So now I would like to share with you how to create uh, a data. Uh, or how to import all those Microsoft Excel data that I being show to you just now, and then insert everything into the SPSS uh, in the simple uh, in the simpler way so that you don't waste your time, uh, copy and paste and adjust everything one by one. Okay, to do that, first of all, uh, usually I will set up my uh, variable. So the first of all, I will put uh, here as ID and then followed by the um, group uh, because this is a case and control study of course it is being divided into two which is one is cases and then number two is control and then um, I'm going to proceed with another one which is uh, classified as follows which is we call it as age, uh, gender, locality and so on okay to do that um, the simpler the, the most simplified way to do that is actually uh, you can use the sort over here you can just click filter and then you name it accordingly so what I will do in this case uh, basically I'm going to replace okay control H I'm going to ask the computer to find the M and then replace with one so that's mean male are going to be replaced with one and then uh, same also goes to this control H M replaced one and then um, you can just click over here and then uh, click the filter button also to indicate is there any other um, variables involved for example uh, instead of uh, attributes male is there any female or not okay after that you can just um, complete everything into your next uh, variable so I'm going to spell it as a1 a2 so as you know a1 is age a2 is gender so you might be surprised while I'm uh, why I'm going to use this um, uh, simplified name because I'm going to write a code or I'm going to run the syntax uh, during the investigations of this data analysis uh, in the future that's why I love to use uh, um, code um, despite of using the name of the variables okay so this is the variable the first variable all right so the next one will be um, locality so I think uh, there are lots of locality over here um, this one we can do it manually for example Afghanistan here we can just uh, oh okay so everything is already being specified over here um, where it's already being classified and also being um, synthesis by the previous um, um, researcher so the way to do that is you can just uh, filter it and then So the next part is actually you are going to import everything from this Microsoft Excel into our SPSS. Okay, to do that in the simplified manner, I'm going to copy first all of the variable um, up here and then paste somewhere here and then I'm going to paste special and transpose. So the reason of doing this is to um, sort of uh, put everything in order so that I got already an idea how many variables that are going to be uh, inserted here so I'm going to have the A3, A4, A5 okay and then the next one is A6, A7 and then A8 okay A9, A10, A11, um, A12 so all of this is actually a risk factor or a variables that we are going to find uh, any um, risk um, relationship with the uh, DV. So our DV will be 
group so this is our um, group lah this is our db alright so um, everything is in order so the next step is actually we are going to follow through uh, all of the classifications that already been classified under here uh, for example the spatial element and so on so let us start okay. the next step that we are going to do is we have to specify our measures so in this case uh, majority of my data is actually being recorded as a nominal scale uh, otherwise it's already being specified um, up here so to do that using matching tools you can copy everything and then uh, press the shift over here down and then uh, click accordingly and there is something that i need to change manually for example this one addition type and then yes also i'm going to put it as scale all right so everything is finished then i'm going to copy everything uh, from my data here uh, into my spss okay to do that so first of all you have to uh, arrange nicely your data something like this id okay so i'm going to um, highlight everything over here and then proceed down here and select accordingly and then go to my id over here and then paste all the variables insert uh, inside our um, uh, data view over here so it's perfect and then i'm going to continue for um, control uh, which is recorded 101 and then same also 15 respondents shift command or control down then it's highlight automatically and then copy here and finish so i'm going to paste it over here and then uh, most of our data is already being um, arranged into this um, data setup okay oh okay there are something uh, going on here where they cannot capture it very nicely so perhaps we can uh, sort of do it again Okay, especially on the variable A um, 15 and uh, maybe it's not being copied nicely so we can do that again 101 okay please copy oh okay I'm so sorry 101 and please accordingly. yeah okay so now uh, the data is uh, fully loaded and it's very nice over here so we got the id number one until um, 240 which is correspond to group uh, case and control and after that um, that is for now uh, in terms of how you want to transfer your microsoft excel data into your spss and after this i'm going to explain to you how you can run the case control data analysis with that we uh, proceed to the next chapter see you again thank you bye